Hey everybody, it's I want to be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Nextcloud on Windows using WSL. To begin, launch PowerShell as administrator. Then we'll run commands to enable the WSL and Virtual Machine Platform Windows features. When prompted, type Y to reboot the host for the feature installs to complete. Once the reboot completes, log back in and launch PowerShell as administrator to continue with the steps. Next, we'll enable the Virtual Machine Platform feature now that it's installed. Set WSL to version 2. Then we'll download the kernel update for WSL and install it. Click Next, then Finish to install the kernel update. Next, launch the Microsoft Store and install the flavor of Linux you'd like to run on WSL. I'll be installing Debian in this example. Once you've located your distro, click the Git button and it will be downloaded and installed in WSL. Once the download completes, click Open. Wait while the Linux distro is initialized, then when prompted, enter a username and enter and confirm a password. We now have a Linux distro running in WSL, so we're ready to start the next cloud installation. We'll begin by running sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll use the apt install command to install a few prerequisite packages. Now we'll install the Apache 2 web server and MariaDB database backend, followed by installing PHP and the required PHP modules. We'll start the newly installed MariaDB service, then elevate to a root shell using sudo su and execute the MySQL secure installation script. Follow the prompts to set a root MySQL password and mitigate known MySQL vulnerabilities. Next, we'll connect to the database using the MySQL command line utility. Then using SQL commands, we'll create a new database, as well as a service account with full permissions to the new database. We'll flush MySQL privileges, close the MySQL connection, and exit the root shell. Next, we'll use wget to download the latest release of Nextcloud, then extract it to the var www directory. We'll set ownership of the next cloud directory to the www data group. Then create a new Apache site configuration for next cloud. Copy the configuration from the video description, then save the changes and close out of nano. Now we'll enable the new Apache 2 site configuration, as well as the required modules. Then we'll restart the Apache 2 service for the changes to take effect. If you receive prompts from the Windows firewall, allow access. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host slash nextcloud. Create a nextcloud admin account by entering a username and password. Then scroll down and using the video description as a guide, complete the database configuration form. Once the form's completed, scroll down and click the install button. After several minutes of installing, we'll be redirected to a recommended apps page. Choose to install them or skip if you'd rather not. Welcome to Nextcloud, running on Windows via WSL.